Oh, hey everybody, it's me, Anthony. And today, I have a goal to repaint everything in my house. I'm talking about the walls, the doors, the food, the sink. Everything is getting repainted. Now, you're probably thinking, Anthony, why are you repainting everything in your house? Well, I don't like how my house looks, and it really looks outdated. But don't worry, everything's going to be done soon. <laughs> you know what? This is too hard. I quit. With games and fan games working on new ideas for their games, it's very likely concepts or new features will get scrapped for a reason. It could be due to time constraints, the idea just not working, or lack of funding. People all know the cut content in Toontown Online, but today we're jumping the gun and covering most Toontown servers that had cut content for their games. In the election, scrapped animations of Slappy Stan can be found, and it's not really sure why this was cut. It has been used in Gyro's Tale and Toontown Offline. Concepts of a brand new Toon Hall was shown in OMG Con in an update for their game, however, this was scrapped for the traditional Toon Hall. It's not really sure why this was cut, but probably cause for the silly meter, or just maybe the idea not working out altogether. Scrap designs of their website is shown from these screenshots here, showing the population and art for their game. However, this was cut because they have a better looking website which looks more professional, which I'm kinda glad this was cut. Toontown Retextured was a project to redo every texture in the game. In a now unlisted trailer, it shows new music and textures for the bird. In OMG Con, there was even dev servers were online to play Retextured. Quite a lot of work was done because they showed numerous screenshots of areas retextured. However, the project was not really talked much about and was put on a hold because really redoing every texture is kind of time consuming. Another cut feature was the deer's voice. They had a different voice, being a little low-pitched, and these were used in Toonfest 2017. However, due to a negative reception with it, they changed it to sound a little high-pitched and more feminine, which was better with fans. A scrapped project called VR Toontown was in the works and confirmed in OMG Con 2017, showing some screenshots and even a working prototype on Sleeploot's channel. This would have ran on the Unreal Engine, however, it's unknown why this project was cancelled, but it was probably due to time constraints and the team just wanting to move on. Something that was oddly cut was the balloon ride from Alec 10 to the top of the Toonfest Tower. It's not really sure why this was cut since nothing was really wrong with it. An animated version of the Toonfest Tower was cut for Toonfest 2015, but was scrapped so they can do the prize shop inside for the tower. And oh, speaking of this video, there's supposedly a second tunnel here, and this would have led to a new area called the Cog Crusher Course. In a Reddit post asking, will this come out, Joe Ezio said, Unfortunately, the Cog Crusher course was scrapped in favor on working on field offices. It became too massive of a project to take on on the limited time event. That said, we still love the idea of Cog Crusher course, and we may see it in the future in some way. However, going into the game's files, you can find various amount of stuff for Cog Crusher. A balloon model of a flunky that was found in the face files, also with landmark legal for logbots and landmark sales for cashbots. There's also Enemy Anvil, Cog Crusher Entrance Hall, Cog Crusher Room 1, Cog Crusher Room 2, and Cog Crusher Room 3, and Cog Crusher Interior, and these were all going to be used for Cog Crusher for Toonfest. A fully textured stage called Quiz Stand is found in the game's files, and also textures for most likely answers for are present here. It's kinda weird to me that this was never released since in 2018 and 2019's Toonfest, we've gotten pretty much nothing new. A scrapped music elevator with a Toonfest theme was found but never used, and fun fact, that music is still in the face files to this very day. <laughs> Brand new Toonfest themes on Duck Tank theme and the main theme are present in the game's files, but for some reason go unused and these kinda make the old ones sound obsolete. 
Lastly, Toonfest Toon tasks were confirmed to happen. However, this was stated back in 2017, and we still have gotten nothing about this. Going on to Toontown House, they planned on adding some new features to improve on their game. A new trolley game, C++ name tags, the tutorial, and much, much more. Because in 2015, the game ended up closing down. They had a brand new trolley game they were referring to called Mint Runner. It was like a Temple Run-Subway Surfers kind of game where you keep on running to avoid the enemy chasing you. This was cancelled again because of the closure of the game, but it was kind of weird since it was 100% done but just never released. Another new thing that was mostly complete was Toontown House's Funny Farm. It had a street and everything, and even Splash Mountain music. This place was alright, but it wasn't anything too good. It was unknown why this was cut, but probably because the game's closure. Moving on, Toontown Infinite had this event called The Experiment. It was an event where cogs would raid Toontown Central, and you must fight them on. In this prototype of the event, there really wasn't much to do, you can just fight it. But this would have eventually turned into Operation Save Toontown. There was also some other scrap stuff called Resistance Hall in the works, and it was kind of complete, but was cancelled due to them wanting to redo Acorn Acres, which also got cancelled. Scrapped accessories included a backpack with rainbow and fire on it, and a new GUI in the works, which was pretty much complete, but was scrapped. However, this was implemented into Toontown Corporate Clash. The biggest thing the team was working on was Operation Save Toontown, the introduction of the Governauts. The event would have had a storyline, but was cancelled along with another concept being Cognation, getting to the storyboard stages, but again before the game shutting down. One last thing which sadly I don't have pictures or proof to have was the prologue version to Toontown Infinite Classic until they scrapped that project. It's unknown why they didn't finish it, but who knows. Oh yeah, this was a thing. Cognation was a game where you just played as a cog, but nothing came out, so how can there be scrap stuffed if the game never even came out? Yeah, plus the person who uploaded the updates for the game deleted his account. But there's the Facebook. One image shows the mole cogs, cogs fighting, and even this new yes man that looks really pissed off in Cognation. Some videos I gladly saved accidentally show Cogs and Cognation into a building and them fighting off a tune, and another one shows a name dropper in a Cognation sewer. It's a little unfortunate this game ended up getting cancelled since it looked really fun to play. Going to Project Altus, in the game's files you can find a circle pad with the up, down, left, and right texture buttons. This was because they were originally going to put their game on mobile on iPhone and Android, like ODS. However, this was cancelled for unknown reasons, but probably because Toontown and mobile just not going together. Other stuff showed scrap designs of the board bots, and even scrap designs of Acorn Acres. I sadly don't have the pictures of these since it was on their discords, which is now forever gone. Boardbot HQ was even fin had an area with, unfin with this unfinished model and even music in the files. And an unfinished Halloween theme was made for this, but was cut because the game was updating and down for the time being. Operation Seekout Scrooge has had several plot changes, being the Interim Elections and Operation Duck Hunt. The interim elections would have been Flippy vs. a little old man, and the cogs taking over the elections killing Flippy, and also raiding Toontown Central. After this, you would be sent to Cognation, where you now are introduced to a new cog type being the Hackerbots. After this cutscene, you would basically just go into the sewers of Cognation, and that's really all we had about this. It was cut and then reworked into Operation Duck Hunt. It honestly isn't clear what Operation Duck Hunt's story would have been, but it was most likely that you would have been saving Slappy, and you would have fought them in the Executive Tower. However, it shows that this was scrapped, and would have fought them in Cognition, shown from this scrapped clip of the bosses going into an unidentified building. A scrapped area was if you went into the files and changed the location you were in, you could possibly end up in Cognition, However, this place was most likely scrapped and actually even used for Operation Desert Storm. A scrapped cog type being the hacker bots were tried to fit into the story for the interim elections and Operation Duck Hunt. However, confirmed by elite team member Benjamin, a person who works on Toontown Offline, has confirmed that they were cut from the story. 
Oh boy, this game has a lot of scrapped content. Where to start, honestly? Now, I'm gonna repeat myself why all this was scrapped due to the team, just due to team drama, as I previously mentioned in my Toontown Expedition video. The high quality models, those of Toons of Flippy, a mouse, and more, were scrapped. A bean counter model, which they must have been proud of since they have five whole pictures of them. One that is a high quality model of a bean counter, one of them a high quality model of a bean counter gif, and one that looked like it broke his nose and left a mark. There's an incomplete Skelecog model, and also a make tune that's present in Toontown Expedition. Buildings of field offices, cellbot buildings, models, and even a bank interior were all scrapped. A scrapped Toontown Central model is shown here, and even other stuff like a schoolhouse, a book building, a new pet shop, and even this weird tea building. A scrapped playground of it being in a beach or sand area of a castle, and it looks like an island. Not gonna lie, it looks a little cool, but at the same time, it looks like something you'd find in Roblox. Blog posts are here as well, but scrapped doing the site being gone forever. And here's the screenshots for them. And that's really it. There's a lot of stuff, and I wouldn't be surprised if there was more out there. Finally, to end this off, let's talk about Toontown Corporate Clash. Scrap Designs of Acorn Acres shows it being a treehouse area place, then switching it up to be more of a forest themed, then changing it again, unsettling on this design. Scrap Designs of Raccoon and Mouse Toon Heads, which I'm glad they changed. A bear trap was going to be used for the 8th gag trap until it got changed, and more designs for the 8th gag shown here. There was going to be a mouse trap, coffee, or oil, I think. A scrap design of a female cog, I'm not gonna lie, this looks like something you look on cursed images. A scrapped house log was made but never added. They tried to redraw the map but however this did not go well and went with something different. And a scrapped logo of Toontown Corporate Clash here and I felt like if they could have drawn it a little better, it could have been a little better than the original, but I think the OG looks more professional. And finally, a skeleton model, which I guess was going to be used for Halloween as a cheesy effect. Now that's it for now, I could talk about Toontown Apex and Tooniversal, but I might talk about them in a part 2 or something, because this video is getting a little long, so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.